Welcome everyone. In this lecture, we are going to learn how to read a PDF file using PyPDF Python external library. Here I'm using a Google Colab notebook and I'm using this uh, demo to PDF for reading the data. Let me install uh, PYPDF2 library. I think I have already installed that. I'm just giving a demo again. I'm going to import PyPDF uh, library. I PDF to library and I'm going to create a file object OBJ open function I'm, I'm providing a demo or PDF file location demo to PDF we have to provide a path file path location here and then we have to open with uh, mode with would be uh, RB mode read binary mode because we are using a pdf file right so we have to use uh, rb mode after that i'm going to create a file pdf reader object pdf reader and i you i'm going i'm going to use pypdf library file reader function pdf reader function pdf reader I'm going to provide file object as a parameter to this file video reader. I'm just going to run that. And uh, we, um, we can check the length of that particular video page uh, like this. Length of video reader, video reader object dot pages. Let me run it. The length would be five. Next, I'm going to read uh, the data from the PDF, and let me write a code to fetch the data from first page. Okay, uh, PDF reader, PDF reader, object dot pages, first page. I mean, index would start from zero, so it is the first page. Zero means first page. Mm, then. I'm going to extract the function, extract the text from that particular page. Let me execute that. See, we would be able to see the data from the first page. Like above, we can uh, read every page data using follow for p in PDF reader dot pages. We have five pages, right? So I'll extract the data one by one. Print p dot extract text. Extract text, and every page is after every page. I'm going to print some dash for our convenience, reading convenience. Let me print that. There you see, right? first page first page data second page data third page data like that we can see all five pages data text data so like this we can read the data and we can perform some uh, operations that would be from this video in next lecture we are going to work on uh, write operation pdf write operations we'll see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe